Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today I'm going to show you how to put your iOS account, your Rise of Kingdoms iOS account, on PC, on Bluestacks. So I've had this question quite a few times and wondering how to do it. It's relatively simple but I'll walk you through step by step how to do it. There's a couple actual ways to do it. I'll show you the way I did it and then I'll give you the other way which is basically using the other button on the menu to be able to do that. So right now I've got my, I've got my big iPad, my iOS, you know, 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's always great to play on whenever uh, you are looking to have a really seamless experience. It's super, uh, super smooth, all that good stuff. And I've also got Bluestacks here, which has also been relatively super smooth for me. I'd say performance wise, I'd give the slight edge to the iOS device because it's so new and recent and, and powerful. But just for generic gameplay and even most wars, Bluestacks works really well. So um, if you need to go download Bluestacks, I have a link in the description below where you can go download Bluestacks and get Rise of Kingdoms on Bluestacks. I'll also leave a pinned comment with that link as well. Um, and that'll be good to go for you there. And then again, if you wanted to get something like this, this 12.9 inch iPad Pro, I've got a link a sponsored link down at the bottom in the description as well on where to get this on Amazon so that you can uh, get the same equipment that I use to play the game and play the game at a top level. And um, I do get a little bit of a snippet from that if you guys use that. So please and thank you and all those good things. Very much tons of gratitude, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into it right here. So there's a way to do this. Now on my screen, you see my main account. This is my main account. This is an iOS account that I'm using on Bluestacks. Now, I've, I've played iOS for quite some time. I started the game with iOS for the most part, um, on my main, obviously. And I've really only transitioned over to Bluestacks, one, because it's good to use the, the multi-instance uh, manager where you can have multiple accounts up at the same time, but also because when I'm bringing you content on this channel, I want you guys to get the full experience because I you see my other videos early on where I was just using my iPad. And it's nice and it's super smooth and crisp, but it's about two thirds of the screen of actual content. And then you've got filler on the left side and then my face at the top. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got your iOS account linked up to a non iOS account. So for instance, um, let me show you exactly what I do. Let me show you on the screen here so you can see, cause I'm doing it separately with my iPad and my Bluestacks setup, but you go to settings and then you go to account. Now in Bluestacks, it looks like this where you click the link button and it gives you Facebook and Google. Whereas with iOS, it looks like this. Let me see if I can give you what it looks like. So it's got Facebook, sign in with Apple, Game Center, which is obviously like the Play Store game account or Game Center for Android. And then you got sign in with Google. Now, the way I did it is through Facebook. You can do it through Google as well, and I'll, I'll tell you how to do that after I show you the way I do it. But this is basically the way I did it. So you're gonna wanna make a Facebook account, okay? And then link your iOS account to that Facebook account, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make an Android-based email. So, so Gmail, something like that, right? So in this case, again, if I go over here and I go to account, it's got my Google account right here, which this is an email that's on my, um, it's on my channel. So you should be able to get that either way. If you need to email me, that's my email. But uh, that's basically what you do. You make the account, you sign into Bluestacks, download it obviously first, and then download the uh, Rise of Kingdoms application after you set your setup up here. And again, the way to do that is you go to settings and then go to, um, and then go to, uh, where's that? Here you go. System apps, Android settings, and then you log in with your account. Now, once you've made that Gmail account, you're going to then go into rise of kingdoms. You're going to make, you're going to start the game. And when you start the game, it's going to be just like a generic account where it's got like, you know, starting brand new account from scratch. Uh, at the top right, you'll see a little thing where it's uh, it says switch account or something like that. Or if you get all the way inside and you go to account here, you'll link that same account in Bluestacks to the Facebook account that you've already linked your iOS account to. So you've got your iOS account 
linked to a Facebook account, and then you've got your Gmail account that you just made inside of a fresh instance of BlueStacks, and you'll link that also to the same Facebook account. And then when you re-log in, you'll be playing your iOS account on BlueStacks. Now, I believe you can skip the Facebook portion of it. I'm not 100% because I haven't tried it, but I wanna say you can. So again, on this screen here, it says, link your account with Google, okay? At the very bottom, sign in with Google. I believe you can do that. You can link your iOS account to your Google account, your Gmail account. And then when you log in from a fresh instance on BlueStacks, again, going to the accounts here and logging in with that same Gmail account, I believe it works. Although again, I have not tried that method, but I do believe that should work. I know a foolproof method, which is the one I just showed you, which is using the social media platform, Facebook, syncing it with your iOS account, and then creating a new Gmail account and then syncing that Gmail account with the same, not syncing, switching to that same Gmail account, that same uh, Facebook account, and then that will sync everything together. So what you have on your iOS device from a game center and a just application standpoint is now on BlueStacks for you to play on. And again, to show you exactly what I'm talking about, I wanna give you the full experience here. So I'm gonna show you let me get out of here. I'm gonna show you my character management screen here. So this is my iOS account. And again, this is my main account on the top left. And then my alt account in 307 on the top right. And then a bunch of 225 farm accounts and so on and so on. There's my 916 Drago farm account as well. All of those are on my iOS device here. And if I go into here and show you the same thing, you got the same stuff. There's my 93 account, my 307 account, three 225 farm accounts, and then my 916 farm account right here. So that is how you do it, guys. Um, it's relatively easy to do. Again, you wanna start with a fresh instance of BlueStacks. And again, if you don't have BlueStacks yet on your PC, go in the description below, click that link, download Rise of Kingdoms on that link. And then same thing if you want to if you don't have an ios device and this is reversible too if you've got it on uh, google you can actually move it over to ios the same method if you want to play on like i said this really nice ios device the 12.9 inch ipad pro so that's um a, it's reverse engineerable i guess is a, is a good way to say it but this is how you do it so again account right here link you can also play with another account you can switch account if you do that you're basically going to restart that whole process again but you're gonna to have to find a different Facebook link or a different Gmail link when you do that, but you can do that. Now, the other cool thing is with BlueStacks, you can have multiple instances of your accounts. So I've got my main iOS account here. I've got another Android account here and I've got another Android account here. I've got multiple accounts that I play this game with so that I can play them at the same time. Now, I'm gonna shoot a little bit of a teaser y'all's way. I'm thinking about making a video to show you I need to make sure it's kosher first before I do, but uh, I can show you how to play two accounts on the same account. So this is my main here, and then this is my alt here. As you can see, I'm on my main right here. And I'm on my alt right here. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> you can't see it because it's it's all green screened but um let me see can you see it which way not oh, this way sorry there's my 63 million account that i'm on my ipad so i actually can play play both accounts at the same time on one account this is one ios account so this enables you to do that as well i want to make sure that it's still good with terms of service and all that good stuff but before i put it out there but it can be done folks so you can have two t5 accounts like i do on one account and play them both simultaneously and you'll be in good shape so i hope this has been informational educational giving you what you need to play ios accounts on your pc and vice versa if you have an, an android account that you play on on pc and you get a nice spiffy new ipad pro um, you can transfer that account over to ios the same way you just do it backwards so you do the same thing you started with on ios on the pc and then again 
vice versa over to iOS. So um, again, hope it's been educational. Hope it's been helpful. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. Take care.